This video is about a son who confronting the father about him being a trans woman now. And um, they decided to do it on Dr. Phil. You can't make this stuff up. This is a blind reaction, so uh, let's get straight to it. <laughs> what are they clapping for? The man is clearly in distress. What are you clapping for? But anyways. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now, Gary. I'm hurt bad. Really bad. What do you what do you have to say? Why? I just I just want you to know that you didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like as a father, if your son comes out and say, Hey, you know, I'm a woman now, you can't help but feel like you did do something wrong. Where did I go wrong for my son to think he's a woman? Where was the signs? What led to you thinking this way? Because I raise you as my son. I raise you as a man. Where did all that change? What do you have to say about his reactions to this? I mean, you, you can see this is very raw for him. What are your feelings about, about the impact on, on, on your father, Gary? I'm, I'm really hurt. And I'm, I was kind of scared, honestly, just seeing his reaction, how... I don't know if it was anger or if it was just upset. The reaction is disappointment because he loves you. He clearly loves you. He loves you a lot. You're his son. You've detached yourself from a reality that I'm pretty sure this man doesn't approve. That's, that's what's going through his head. And that it's like he's trying to figure out how to love you. That's what it is. I know a lot of people won't say it, but he's figuring out how to love my son that transitioned to a woman. That's just what it is. What do you want from him? I just, I, I just want you to understand that this has nothing to do with how you raised me or anything like that. And I just want you to be okay with, I just want you to be okay with me being transgender. Steph, he feels like he's failed as a father. He feels like he, he let you down. He's gone back to the point of, he says one time for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, talk about that. He dressed up like a girl. I thought it was funny at yep. first. There it is. What did I say? Something always leads up to this massive transitioning. It doesn't just happen overnight. Something happened and you let it slide. Me. I was raised in a conservative family. So as a kid, as like a, a 10 year old boy or 11 year old boy, if I dress up as a woman in front of my dad, he's going to be like, no, that's not funny. Go take that shit off. He would nip it in the butt. It wouldn't even go that far where my little kid brain have time to experience these type of emotions or I have time to experience that path. He nips it in the butt. And I'm assuming that's what happened. Let's see if I'm right. No, I Surely don't. And what was the age? High school, maybe. It was, it was during high school. Uh huh. And your reaction at well, the time? I thought it was Halloween. You know, so I just went along with it. Actually, pinched him on his behind and said he made a good looking girl, but I was only joking. He's not a good looking girl. He's a very beautiful man. <laughs> right. He feels that he's failed you as a father. Do you feel that this is a, a choice you've made? No, I, I've always been like this. 
I just hid it from everyone. How do you feel about it? I just feel like this is me. This is, this is who I am. And That's, how long have you hidden this? As early as seven years old. I don't think he understands the burden that that is, how much energy that takes, how that affects you to live an inauthentic life. Just imagine waking up every day and seeing and being someone that you don't want to be. I feel like every, every trans woman or trans men, they use the same verbiage. Not saying that you guys are wrong, but it's like, yeah, and I've been feeling this way ever since I was born. I've been feeling this way ever since I was a kid. I was born a trans woman or a transgender. It's like everybody used the same verbiage. Can someone give me something else besides what he said and she said? Can someone give me something that's arguable? Because when you say, yeah, I was born this way, it takes away every argument, right? You can't be like, no, you didn't because they'd be like, how you know? It, it goes down to this path that no one's wanna, no one want to argue. So it's like, give, give me something else. Don't give me what he said and she said and the three guys behind them said. Like, give me something else. What do you what do you hear in those words? What what do you hear? I hear confusion. So you hear someone that is confused, mentally ill? Yes. What if this is not a mental illness? What if this individual is pre-wired to be a woman, but in a man's body. Just, I'm saying, what if that is the case? What could you imagine that experience would be like for that person? Uh, pretty hard. Anyways. Pretty hard. Listen, this message is for all the men, especially if you got a kid. Do not let society raise your child. I feel like as a kid, there's a lot of things that happen subconsciously. And being a kid, you just think it's true or you just adapt it to your own ideologies. For example, I love watching film. I love shooting movies. I love creating artistic videos. That didn't happen by accident. When I was younger, my uncle, he owned the cinema and we just sat around all day watching movies and dissecting them after and talking about it. What could have been better? What could have been what we could have done ourselves? Like I've, I've been doing that ever since I was like three, four years old. So it's not a coincidence that me as a 20, 24 year old man now, I love film. I only love it because of my childhood experience. Nothing happens on accident. So Back to my original point when I said, don't let the world control your kids. Because I see a lot of parents, they just give their son that iPad, teach them. And then when like four years, six years, or even 10 years later down the line, the child is like, yeah, I'm gay or yeah, I'm trans. I'm a transgender. And you're like, where the fuck did I go wrong? Yeah, you didn't raise your kid. The iPad did. That's what happened. Just like this father, he was like, yeah, one time for Halloween, he dressed up as a woman. And I thought it was funny. It's not funny. Your son was projecting and you missed that opportunity to correct them. You missed it. It was right in front of your fucking eyes. Protect your sons and daughters. Me, personally, I don't have any kids yet, but if I do, I'm not even going to send my child to daycare. I'm going to let my wife stay at home and take care of the kids and I'll pay all the bills. I do not believe at that tender age of one through six or seven that someone else should raise my kids. No. All the information they're going to get is going to be from my home. And I will stand on that until I die. I'm out. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.